Hey everyone, uh, doing a little video for uh, Pepper Cat Keith. He uh, built a new garage over the uh, summertime and he has no heat for the winter. He's got like a little propane stove or something that he was using last year or kerosene. And uh, I told him what I had at my camp, there's no power there. And uh, what I have for heat there, that works pretty good and it's pretty cheap. So uh, this is going to be a little video for him and whoever wants to uh, watch, you're welcome to join me. And uh, we'll do a little walk around, show you what I got. It's a building that's uh, uh, 20 by 30, I'd say. So it's 600 square feet. Uh, there's insulation in the ceiling and I think in the walls, but nothing in the floor. Uh, we're about a half mile, three quarters of a mile away from power, so there's no power out here. So everything here is kind of self-contained. And there's really not that much to what I have for setup. Basically, I just use uh, gas, gas grill cans uh, 20 pounders just because they're easy to carry. You can probably go a little bit larger. And under the building, there's just some copper line strewn around. Go into the inside, it pops up in I think uh, three or four places. And that's on right now. Let's go walk inside. It's getting close. Got to pull everything out of the water. In here, everything is uh, gas powered. There's nothing uh, done with anything. It's uh, gas lights, gas stove, gas refrigerator. Uh, what you see up here is uh, kind of like the same as those uh, mm, younger days. Actually, I think, still think they sell them like the Coleman lamps there that you uh, you light and they had the little tea bags in there. That's kind of what they use. And there's uh, five of those in here. And each one's probably like a 60 watt bulb when they're uh, up to full temperature. They, they only been on for about a minute or two. But as they heat up, they get a little bit brighter. Um, there was a another one over here in the corner. Let's see if the lighting kind of adjusts. There we go. Right where the this, this stove is here, this heater, there was another one. You can see the gasoline kind of run, running up from the the floor and it ran up I think it ran up right to about yeah right here see where the marks were uh, instead I this is the heater I was talking about it's a Procom blue flame heater Get a little flash. actually I'm gonna turn the light on here there we go and I think what the BTUs was on it it's fairly simple to operate it, it requires no power just hook propane up to it uh, out on that tank the only thing that was out there was a, a gas grill valve and uh, that I think knocks it down to two PSI or some, some low PSI. Uh, but this thing has three different levels on it. I don't know what can come up with. Uh, there's no venting required. It does have its own shut off. If the CO gets too high, it'll shut itself off. And as I said, this building right here is like a uh, uh, 20 by 30 and it, it takes a little while to get warm. I would say if it's say 20 degrees outside, it'll take a half hour, uh, maybe a little bit more to get warm. I was trying to find a BTU on it. It's gotta be on there somewhere. For some reason I think it, it was like, on low it was like 15, medium was like 25 and high was 35 or 40, something like that. Okay, let's see. I'm sure it's in the manual. Anyway, I would just get the largest one that you can. They don't take up much room. It's probably only six inches wide, hangs on the wall. And I think it said, just keep it clear three feet in front of it. And that's where that little partition is right there. Kind of, it really never ever gets warm. Everything's wooden here, never had any problems with it. Um, it's quiet, doesn't make any noise. It's not like those ones that are on the floor that, that make a, you know, that loud sound all the time. It is uh, propane, so you do get a little bit like the sweating on the windows, but that's about it. Um, generally, um, once the place is warmed up, those lights throw off heat too. You could actually shut that heater right off and it'll just run if you leave the lights on at night. Um, just on, I think four, if we leave four of those lights running, it'll uh, keep the place at the temperature. And plus there's a wood stove right there too. That, um, 
when it's really cold, we'll fire that up and the heater up. And uh, if we're in the area, we'll just keep burning wood just for the, uh, you know, the niceness of it. You can open those front doors and it's like a regular fireplace. So, so that's what we got. Um, it's uh, a good option for a, um, a garage too. I've seen it in a couple of people's garages and uh, for the whole investment, it's not very much, you know, you're, you're basically just having a propane tank, a uh, gas grill line, a uh, regulator, uh, some copper tubing, and then the stove. I think I purchased it through Harbor Freight or um, the other one is like Harbor Freight. At the time, it was like 139. I think uh, Home Depot and Lowe's and all of them kind of sell them now, and they're like uh, around 200, 250, something like that. But I, I can't complain. I like it. it. It does what it's supposed to do, and uh, you know, you're not going to drop dead from the thing because it does have that CO detector that shuts off. Plus, we have another one, alarm in here somewhere too. I forget. Just in case, there it is, right there, hanging up in the ceiling. So it's it's fairly close to the bedroom. Uh, just to keep a little bit more heat on this side, but uh, it does what it's supposed to do. Hey right, guys, uh, some point I'm going to make a video or some uh, a bunch of videos over here. I have an old motorhome in the backyard, and I am going to take everything out of that motorhome as far as the uh, the generator. It's got the uh, remote start and all that, uh, all the lighting, the bathroom fixtures the refrigerator that's in there because that one's kind of a dinosaur. It draws a lot, it uses a lot of propane to uh, do what it needs to do and the ones that's in our RV just basically runs like a the size of a cigarette lighter flame and that's it. So all that stuff's gonna come over here and it'll be DC, AC, um, put the microwave in, etc. And the generator's one of those onions, it's pretty quiet. And I could put it away from the building and put it in like a doghouse. But as right now, all we have is basically what you see with the gas supplied stuff. There's a uh, hand pump over the sink going down and uh, there's a well outside on the property that uh, we just pull the water up from. So, they're talking about getting an inch of snow tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> I'm usually the first one in the water with the boat and the last one out. So I'm gonna try to keep that theme going. Uh, sometimes the uh, Heavy rains though, the water gets so high where you see those marks on the ground there where the boards are, gets underwater and makes it a little bit hard to pull the boat out. But we'll survive. We got a winch, we'll get it out one way or another. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, take care.